guy caught his girlfriend cheating, but instead of flipping out, he got a very public revenge. 23-year-old Dustin had been with his girlfriend for a few years, but everything changed when she cheated on him. On a regular Monday morning, Dustin went to work like usual. While he was at work, he felt something off because he texted his girlfriend and she hadn't texted him back in an hour. Usually, it was no big deal, but Dustin felt something was wrong. So during Dustin's lunch break, he decided to go home to see if she was okay. When he got home and walked inside the house, what he saw was unexpected. Dustin saw his girlfriend in bed with another guy. But his reaction would shock you. Instead of Dustin flipping out and waking them up, he decided to do the total opposite. Dustin took out his phone and took a bunch of selfies with his cheating girlfriend. He then posted it on the internet and walked away. The next morning, when the girlfriend saw that everyone had seen the posts, she began freaking out and started blowing up Dustin's phone. But Dustin did not care and blocked her on everything. His immediate reaction was to expose his cheating girlfriend to the world and never speak to her again. Thank God that this man was in his right mind because we all know that could have went to a very dark place. That man could have been on the 5 o'clock news and all us seeing the aftermath of what he could have done. But he did, right? Just take some pictures for evidence and toss that pro to the street. Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Dating Right. Students walk out of feminist lecture in protest. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Ciao. It's chow time. Another one. Thank you. 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 Another one, thank you. Seeing those younger men walk out of there was so fulfilling for me. It's so yeah, awesome to see younger men no longer put up with none of this feminist bull crap. I did um, a pregnancy test earlier. Oh, I mean, I knew that it wasn't like this wasn't oh, going to go. Natasha, That's why we both came because. You idiot. Deb, I want you to try and be a bit supportive. I know it's probably not what you want to hear. So you're having a baby. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's going to be difficult. Um, wait, well, hang on a minute. You keep, you're planning on keeping it? Yeah. yeah. Oh my. Natasha, you stupid little girl. Dad, I'm not a little girl. You, oh I'm my I'm coming God. here as an adult to tell you. In about two seconds time, I'm going to tell you to get out of my Dad, house. Dad, I've just come, I've come Ever. here as well. Ever. He understands what you're about to get yourself into, girl. He knows. He's seen it. He's seen plenty of girls at his age do the same thing you did, and they have horrible lives now. He's just trying to prevent that for you. Parents aren't made to support everything you do because some things you do are just stupid. We've got a plan. I think we've got a plan. Yes, but we can do this. Yes, no, I know we're young, but our head's in the right place and our heart's right. in the right place as well. Your head's in a fucking up your ass and your heart. You're just an idiot. What am I supposed to do? I can't be having a baby in the house. What? Well, you wouldn't want one no. in the house. No. I've done my time. So, this so be so your what I've done my time yeah. with a screaming baby. This is something you do when you're on your own two feet in your own house. So what are you saying? That we can't stay here? It's history repeating itself and I can also see the storm that my life was in having a baby at first it might not be it might be fine we won't be fine i think you're stupid how are you and your boyfriend gonna be living in your dad's house and you get pregnant and the, both of y'all trying to explain that y'all got a plan i think a lot of young people don't know the responsibilities the costs the change of your lifestyle when that baby comes but i totally agree with this dad he didn't give a damn he told her the harsh real truth y'all can't stay here i'm not raising no more kids and good for him what do you mean Drea Michelle got herself pregnant by Jalen Green, who is 18 years younger than her? Baby Drea is 39 years old, God. and Jalen is just 21. Drea has a son the exact same age as him, and I just want to say something, right? I see everybody, even the women are like, this shit is nasty. That boy, that boy knew exactly what he's doing. He saw what he liked, and he got it. Now they got a baby, so she got him. Got him. <laughs> My question is this his fucking parents at and did they advise him against this it's the same story no stop in the nba these she was on basketball wives y'all these women who like rich ball players gonna get them a rich ball there is just no way it'd be the same women getting bought like <sighs> that's my i'm actually also confused 
Are there other not? Is there not other good-looking women that haven't been passed around by the same players? There's uh, good-looking women are kind of everywhere. My problem, right? If it were new women getting young ball players, that'd be cool. Yeah. Would it be the same fucking women? Bro, you gotta see. And this make me so mad is because like men are logical. So y'all know like the pastor Poppy Don guy or the guy who I don't know his name, but he like when I was in prison, I charged women twenty five hundred dollars to come see me because I look away and I talk away and I can give us something that the men on the street can't. My time, like he got anything else, like or 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 uh the, the big dark skin dude, uh his wife the prayer warrior. Y'all know who I'm talking about, Derek Jackson. When men see dudes like that, constant, like, like, fuck up, get called out for it, and the women still eat it up, we be like, huh, women. Y'all let y'all emotions and what they say and get y'all. So, like, we're all, especially on social media, we're desensitized to it. Pastor Poppy Don or whatever his name is, been knocking women upside the head. Eric Jackson, come on now. Come on now. You went through a whole debacle. Still out here pumping out videos and women in the comments like, yes, child. The guy who went to prison, they, he knew. They, they fucking with him. But when I see a man, a 21-year-old man, get a basketball wife who is 18 years older than him, pregnant, it ain't got nothing. Bro, he dumb as hell. He just like the women on social media, except for it's his real life. It's his real life. He's a real life about to pay his child support. What's that one girl? Oh, my God, that one girl that Coach Prime brought to the, to the, uh to the locker room her she got somebody it's like how do the same women who have made headlines how do the same women get these guys they don't have brain i don't care how and that woman look good i don't care how good she look how good she's sucking fuck it would just be red line tape i can't i can't fuck with you baby i can't you your track record speaks for itself shit get got by a woman that don't nobody know how the fuck you get done dirty by a known fraudster she steal nut and make men pay child support that's what i said i was like man where is his parents where is his father obviously no one was guiding this young man or maybe they were but we don't know maybe he wanted this baby with this older hot thought and i think this young man is getting ready to sign a next contract over a hundred million dollars so i'm gonna mind my business on this one but something tells me this guy's gonna regret this decision having this baby with this lady no shade no tea but y'all but wait girl it's weird that when women or when, when men get into a lot of money that kind of crazy money they literally go after the weirdest and the people that are just always in the media with that kind of money i guess it makes sense because you can't buy good women these men out there aren't trying to look for good women or trying to work for good women they're just wanting to pay for what they want and paying for what they want you're usually going to get these types of girls so maybe that's the thought process because they're just paying for what they want and it ends up being these girls because they're around ready to accept that money Instead of the good girls, because they wouldn't do that for money. Girl, come on, you know you're trying to give us some tea and shade. Give it to us. Tell me why somebody invited me on a date, right? Okay, but what's wrong with it? So I done did my makeup, put my outfit on. They said we going to a basketball game. Okay, girl, you look cute, and that's a cute date. But you don't sound too happy about that date, so please tell us <laughs> what the hell is going on. Let me show y'all where the fuck they got me sitting there. I done left their ass. I'm sitting in a whole nother seat because I don't even give a fuck. Like, why would you even play with me like that? What? So she left the person, went and sat in another seat because she don't like the seats that they bought with their money to take her on a date. Girl, you so goddamn ungrateful. Please tell us about the rest of this goddamn day because I really want to know what the hell happened. Uh, do y'all see how high I am? Okay. Okay, girl, you could have upgraded them seats with your money if it was a problem when you got there. And they keep texting oh, my yeah. phone talking about where you at, where you at, don't worry. Actually, I've never been to a basketball game. I would like to go to a Laker game sooner or later in my life. It would be nice, but I'm also not into sports. And I heard Laker games are probably one of the most expensive games. Everybody, sweetheart, I'm going to find me another date. This is why the dating pool is full of piss. Because of ungrateful people like her. People don't want to continue to try to take people on dates and they're going to complain about it, go missing and do all this extra shit. 
Be grateful that they took you on a date because they didn't have to take your ass no goddamn well. They could have mm -hmm. took you to the park or took you to the room. Just to clarify, this is not the girl who been doing stuff for me on TikTok. This is not her. My booski would never, ever do this. Okay? Just to clarify. So if y'all booski would never, why are you on a date with somebody else? Okay. Y'all stop being ungrateful. Anything somebody do for you is because they want to do it for you. Nobody have to do anything for you in this world. I don't care if you're in a relationship with the person, if you married to the person. Don't nobody owe you nothing in this world. You Correct. owe yourself. So if there's a problem when you go on a date, the best thing is to do is make the best of that date. And then just don't go on a date with them no more. You don't got to embarrass them and leave them where they at. Don't answer and make them leave the date by themselves. Because guess what? Babe, I'm going to tell you something. Karma is a mother. And it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Catherine, I caught you once again cheating on me. All I want is my clothes and I will leave. May I please have my clothing items so I can get the hell out of the house? I asked you to leave anyway. I am leaving. Can I please have my clothes? You can come back later. No, I'm not coming back. Well, then you can come My clothes back. are right there. All I need is the things in the dryer. That's it, and I'm out of here. Can you please move out of the way so I can get my clothes, and I will leave? You can call the cops. So that you can be with Michael. You can call the cops. I don't want to call the cops. I just want my clothes, and I will leave. Okay. May I please have my clothes? No. Why? Why can't you just go be with him? Why do you have to string me along and pretend like you don't like the guy after the shit that I just read? Just let me go, Kate. Be with him. He's right there. I'm over it, man. I'm done being punked. Just let... You can keep everything. Let me have my clothes so I can leave. And that's it. I you won't bother you. Recording is there a guy no, just I'm like not, sitting right is, here? I have to. Then you can because the everything that you say is a lie. Then you can just like how cops. you and Michael are done. He's uncircumcised. You can call the cops. Okay. I, cap that's exactly how women do when they get caught cheating. They want to hang on to both of the men. And especially the good man. They want to hang on to him for their life because they know they're going to regret losing it over some guy that they know is trash. So good for buddy right here. I would definitely call the cops and get ghosts. Get up out of there. Now, you know, at these moments, my inner rage might kick in and just like yank the shit out of me. Like, get the fuck out of here. Give me my fucking clothes. <laughs> just start bolting out. <laughs> oh, man. The... The law puts our hands behind our backs so much when it comes to these types of incidents. We can't even just like nudge her out of the way or, you know, just try to get in there and try to grab our clothes. No, we do anything physical to her. We're going to jail. Now that one there actually brought back memories for me. I was in this situation decades ago. I'm leaving my ex-wife and it was just like that she wouldn't let me leave but anyways that's all i got in this video you guys drop a comment down below let me know what you think Whew, shout out to dating right that was a damn good video ladies we just want some happiness too let us live our lives and be on our way you can go back to the streets please like subscribe down below i really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time ciao